Hey guys, Chef Jojo here with ECO bringing you another episode of Chef Drink. And on this episode, we're going to talk about all the reasons it's awesome to be a chef. And as always, we're going to have this conversation over a drink. Alright, so you know what? There's so many lists out there and reasons and videos of why not to be a chef. In fact, one of our most popular videos we've done on a chef drink were the 20 reasons what you need to know before becoming a chef. If you haven't seen it, we'll put a link up. But, you know, in this new phase of what we're doing, I wanted to focus on the great things about being a chef. You know, the amazing things, the things that make you go, I love my job, even though it has this darker side to it. So, and no rhyme or reason, no category, no number system, but yet I put numbers to it. We are going to go through 10 things that I think is amazing about being a chef. Number 10, at the top, it's not a desk job. It's definitely not a normal nine to five because that's only eight hours. Where's the other eight gonna be? Um, when you show up, typically it's a little bit later in the day and you really don't have a desk. In fact, most chef's offices are like a thought after they built the restaurant, it's a closet and there's like no room to do anything. It took me 18 years to get an office that had a door on it that I wasn't sharing with somebody else. So I feel like I finally made it because I have a chef's office. But you know, I now at this higher level, I have a lot of meetings and a lot of stuff at the desk, but I can always find my relief or my sanctuary when I get back in that kitchen. And I think that's what I love about it. Number nine, creativity. You know, we get to express ourselves in such an amazing way every day. We get to try food, try to pair it, put it together, and be creative in how we dis like pre present it, how we uh, match flavors, and then you can go into the dining room and you see everybody trying it. It's just, when you see your creativity go out the window, there's nothing like it. Um, this is an interesting one. I like it because a lot of the chefs I talk to, I'm like, hey, what is your favorite thing about being a chef? And every one of the lists that I looked at, they said travel. And that was my thing too, is it's like a skill that goes with you everywhere. You know, you can pick up the phone, send a letter, an email, and find yourself working in a restaurant in Spain or Japan or Germany or France or California. And just getting to see those places and have a skill that people are looking for, it's amazing. And when you do travel, you really look at things a lot different because you're looking at all the food and the culture. Um, I like this one because I feel like a lot of people talk about things that are tough. So number seven is a sense of accomplishment. You know, what we do is not easy. Not everybody can stand up to the grind all the time and it's hard. But when you go home at night or when you're done for the day, you feel like you've accomplished something. You feel good about your work. And I think that happens when you create or make something. When you make something, there's just a feeling that just is very solid and grounding. And I think that that's one of the things I love about it. Which leads right into this one, because I think you can't have one without the other. That, that grind, that sense of accomplishment, you get that, but before you get that, you get the rush. And I mean, the rush is something that we all talk about. Whether it's a giant party, a huge event, or it's 250 tickets just getting slammed in the kitchen and you're with like the 10 other people in the kitchen you're just pushing all the food out. And it's like you blink and it's over. But during it, it's just a smooth ride. And there's this adrenaline push that you get that just makes the night amazing. And then when you try to come down from that, it's really tough. So... It definitely makes the day fly by. It definitely is something that you always look for to get hard. It's harder and harder to find it in everyone. So you finally constantly looking for things. That's probably why chefs are such adrenaline junkies. Uh, number five, instant gratification. You do all this work, you have this rush, and then you watch your food or your team's food all go out into the window. And there's such a like, satisfying moment when you look out there in the dining room or you go in the dining room and you see everybody eating the food that you guys created that your team created and you know sometimes you go to the table and they're like this is amazing well you know sometimes they could say this sucks but you know life lesson right but i think that all of it is really worth the time that it takes and 
if you haven't done it, it's really hard for you to understand what I'm saying. But for those of us that have been doing it for a minute, you really know that when you look and you see them eating the food and they're like just the, their faces and the moments are just, it, it makes something very tangible like a memory. Because what you're doing is people are going out for Valentine's, Mother's Day, birthdays, and you're a part of that. You make memories and people will remember that. If you've done weddings, tons of weddings, they'll never forget anything that you were a part of. It's very cool. Um, it's very cool is actually number four. It has a coolness factor. Uh, you know, when you tell somebody you're a chef, they go, oh, that's really cool. I mean, thank, thank you, Food Network. Thank you, you know, Top Chef. Thank you, all of the chefs that have made it very cool. But there's a coolness factor to what we do. It has a lot of hard work and a lot of hours, but the coolness factor is always there. And it's just, people are very enamored by food and us chefs get the opportunity to make it. Um, number three, the food and the drink. We look at food as life. The other night I was super stoked because um, I had a tri-tip that I wanted to smoke with this special peach wood that I had purchased. and. I was so excited to make that for the family and that kind of fulfillment of like pairing and just working on different tricks and just kind of always trying to work with food and the drink, it's pretty cool. Plus, if you go to another chef's restaurant on your night off that you've worked, waited for, they usually take good, good care of you and your significant other. That's, I mean, that's one of my favorite things. Um, constantly learning is number two. You know, I don't know everything there is to be known about food at all. I know how to make food for a lot of people. I know how to run an arena. But over my career, there's just so much more out there that I want to learn. And I think one of the most amazing things is you never stop learning. There's always a new trick. There's always a new hack, if you will. There's always a new technique that's coming out or a technique that you haven't perfected. And I think that that chase is one of the most amazing things because you can work with another chef and just pick up the way they use a knife or pick up the way that they do something different or how they make a dish. You really always need to understand those nuances. So it's pretty cool that we're always learning from each other. And that brings me to the number one reason why I love being a chef. And it might not be the same for everybody, but for me, I love being a chef because of the people that work in this business. The people that are in this business are absolutely, well, amazing, wonderful, horrible, crazy, um, adrenaline junkies. If you want to get a good story from somebody, nine times out of ten, you're going to laugh your ass off when you're talking with a chef or a restaurant manager about what happened back in the day or you're not going to believe this. There's just always some sort of crazy going on. And I think that... Us as a culture of chefs or cooks or bartenders or man, we get it. We get what the business is like. And, you know, being a chef is a very interesting thing. When you work with another chef to show respect, you call them chef. You don't call them by their first name or anything. You're like, hey, chef. Um, I don't know of another job that really does that. You know, like go up to, hey, graphic designer or hey, accountant or hey, lawyer. You know, we always, re we respect each other, we earn the respect of others, and showing that sign of respect is referring to you as a chef. I mean, what, funny enough, there's a guy that was ripping me on YouTube the other day, and he put my title in quotes, like you're a chef, so you can also slag somebody off for being, you know, not a chef. I think that's what I like. We have all sorts of characters in our business, and they all have an opinion that they are really good at what they do. Some are better than others, and we get to be the judge. Um, and I think that's what makes it so much damn fun. So anyway, that's my top 10 or my 10 reasons why I think it's awesome to be a chef. I'd love to hear what you think. You can always post a comment down below on YouTube. You can follow us, hit the bell so you can get a notification. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, or Twitter. And until next time, I'm Chef Jojo and cheers.